Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushy bringing you guys another video. Guys, before we start the video, if you please can, go down below, give this video a thumbs up, show some love, show some support. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about concepts coming to Fortnite. So basically what a concept is, is it, it's an imagination, it's an idea. Let's throw ideas out there and then see if the game developers actually do it. So what happens is a lot of people on Reddit will post these concepts and sometimes these concepts will actually come to the game. So it, it helps give game developers ideas of what they can do different within the game. And it's a cool thing because it's like the game developers listen to the community and listen to what people want and they actually bring it to the game so I definitely think concepts are definitely a good thing to have because it really just opens your imagination to what else the game could possibly do but with that being said today's video we're gonna cover a few of the concepts that I've seen lately floating around on Twitter and social medias and stuff like that and I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on do I think it's coming and if it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing if it does come so basically in the background of today's video we actually have me playing solo squad with one of the new legendary skins the punk rock girl it, I, I don't know it's, it's all right I, I like it but it shouldn't be a legendary skin but you guys to let me know down in the comments what do you think of this skin that just dropped like the other day do you like it or do you hate it with that being said let's get into the first concept that I actually seen floating around is weapon customization for Fortnite battle royale so basically someone over on reddit ended up making this image of what it would look like to customize your own weapon in Fortnite battle royale now a lot of people are saying this doesn't really make sense or why would they do this because one it's a third person shooter game so you're not really looking Looking up close at your weapon you just see it number two does this mean that anytime you pick up a scar it's gonna be your scar with your camo customized on it I think the concepts cool everyone loves weapon customization within the game just because one it allows you to just have more of a creative side and a personal side like your character and your weapons are your own thing it's your own customized thing so a lot of people like having customized weapons and stuff like that but in my opinion I don't think it's gonna come to the game because one you're spawning on an island with nothing in your inventory so if you pick up a scar the scar is not gonna have any skin on it so maybe I guess every time you pick up the scar it's gonna have your skin but then what happens if you die and drop the scar is it going to have your skin on it still or is it going to have the previous person's skin on it so then it, it, it starts questioning like what are we gonna do about that are we gonna have just multiple skins in the game or are we just gonna have like a weapon that only adjusts to the skin you have so only you can see the skin now if you can only see it yourself that doesn't really make it anything special you know you want to show everyone else the cool thing that you made on your weapon but then again I can also see how it would be cool because weapon customization it's just it's different it's unique and plus say you do die by somebody if they end up using your weapon for the final kill you're just like oh crap that was my gun that's cool or if some big youtuber ends up picking up your weapon you can actually see them holding the gun that you customize yourself which is also a really cool thing because imagine imagine like Ali a or something like that picking up your weapon in a YouTube video and it just gets millions of views and you're like dang that's the weapon I customized so I can see how it could be a cool thing but then again I don't honestly think it's gonna come to the game again you guys gotta let me know down in the comments Comments below of each concept that I talk about in today's video. What do you think of it? Do you think it will come to the game? And if it does, is it going to be a good idea? The next thing we're actually going to talk about that you guys probably have seen a lot over YouTube and Twitter because this one blew up. I mean, this is, it's superheroes basically being skins within the game. Now, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on this. It's cool. It's definitely a cool thing, but I don't think it'll ever come to the game. One, because it's Marvel's thing or it's just not Fortnite's thing. Like, that's copyright. They can't take it unless they get permission. And if they even do get permission, the game is Fortnite. The game is not like a Marvel game or Capcom game or anything like that. It, it's Fortnite where they have their own unique thing about it. If they start adding all these superheroes within the Fortnite community, it's it's going to feel like a different game. It's going to feel like not Fortnite. It's not going to feel like Epic's game. It's going to feel like Marvel's game or something like that. So in my opinion, I do not think they're ever going to bring superheroes or anything like that, Deadpool or Black Panther to the game just because it's not their thing. It's not their demographic. It's not their image that they try to put out when they made the game and I'm honestly fine with that like I said it would it would kind of suck seeing a whole bunch of like Deadpool's running around because I mean the game it, it would just feel like a different game like I was saying it would just not feel like Fortnite it would feel like Capcom or Marvel took over and that's why I don't think they'll ever bring it to the game not it would be it would be cool seeing like one or two skins or just owning it but can you just imagine like them adding not just these two characters, but they add Superman and they add Iron Man and Spider-Man and Thor and all these characters that, that are cool that everyone would love to buy. Yes, they would make money off of it, but it would feel like Marvel has their own battle royale type game, you know? You guys get where I'm going with this one. Let me know in the comments if you understand what I'm saying. Now, the next concept we're actually going to talk about is really interesting to me. I definitely think they should add this to the game. I don't see anything wrong with it being added within the game. The only thing I can see is that people are actually 
actually gonna start trick shotting, but it's okay because it's gonna open up the game to a, a new audience of people. The trick shotting community is actually gonna enjoy playing the game. And this is the kill cam concept for Battle Royale. So basically at the end of the game or even in the middle of the game, as long as you die, you're gonna get a kill cam so you can see what happened. Because there's so many times where I've watched somebody kill me and I'm like, how did he melt me so quick? Like what happened? I would love to see his perspective and how he got his angle to kill me. Because it, one, it'll make you a better player if you learn how you died or you learn how lucky they got. So definitely think it would be a cool thing if they added it within the game because there's so many times where I just get melted and I'm, I'm confused or someone has a shotgun and they switch to a different weapon and I'm just, I'm confused on how they did it. So I want to watch the kill cam, but they don't have a kill cam within the game. With that being said, we're also going to cover the final kill cam. I definitely think a final kill cam would be amazing because like I said, it's going to open it up to like more people, like the trick shotting community of Call of Duty. They'll start liking Fortnite and they'll want to hit trick shots at the final kill. And guys, I know a lot of you guys are like, ah, oh, but don't bring the trick shotters over here. This game's just for fun. We don't want tryhards over here. But if they're trick shotting only, it's going to make it easier for you to get a final kill because if they're just jumping off a building trying to trick shot you, they're going to end up dying because, I mean, they have a sniper and you have an assault rifle. So I definitely think if they do bring kill cams within the game, it's going to be a amazing thing. It's going to be a good thing. I see all positiveness out of this. Nothing really bad that could happen if they did bring it. Now, Epic Games did say that they were not going to be making a new map anytime soon. So basically, all they're going to be doing is improving the stuff on the map over time to keep it fresh. Basically, what they did in that one update when they added Tilted Towers, Junk Junction, Snobby Shores, and all these extra places, these points of interest, this is another one that people have been talking about is a old Western theme point of interest. I think this would be cool. Of course, they need to start removing points of interest because the more that they have, the more spread out people are going to be and it's not going to be fun because everyone's going to have their own city basically when they land to the point where it's no like gunfights at the beginning of the game. It's all going to be towards the end where the circles are smaller. And of course, that means games are going to be a lot slower at the start, so you're not going to see anyone. And then once the circles get smaller, that's where all the fighting is going to happen and it's going to be too crazy to the point where you're not going to be able to survive because you're having one team rush you and then another team rush you so you have no time to heal up or get things situated. The next thing we're going to cover is an igloo item concept. So basically, you guys know about the campfire, the cozy campfire, how it heals you 2 HP per second and it only activates for 25 seconds. Now this one is going to be kind of like that. It's going to give you two shields a second for 25 seconds. They want this to be an epic rarity so it's going to be hard to find. In my opinion, I mean, I definitely think the concept's cool having something like the campfire but the opposite where it gives you two shields a second for your whole team is really cool but the igloo whole thing about the igloo thing is you can hide inside of it. So if you have an igloo open or something like that, you can actually go inside of it and hide to the point where people can't snipe you from the outside but the campfire is out in the open so you have to build around yourself to make sure that you're protected so the whole thing with the igloo i don't know how i feel too much about this and it's going to be pretty big to the point where i don't think this can be a thing in the game i like the concept of having something give you two shields per second but i don't know if an igloo is the thing that we're looking for and plus it doesn't really fit the theme of the map because there's no places in this map that has snow in it so it's just it's just off it doesn't really have the same theme as the cozy campfire maybe we can think of something a little different now the last thing we're going to cover in today's Today's video is something that I actually really want to see come to the game. This is going to make things a little bit easier because they already have a website that does all this for you, but it'd be a lot better if you can just see it all within the game rather than having to go to a website to find out your stats like your KD or your kills per match or your win percentage. And this is improving the statistics concept including the KD ratio. So basically, if you guys know, if you go to your profile, you can see your solo, your duo, your squad, and it lets you know how many wins you have, uh, how many kills you have, how much time you played, and how many games you've played. That's all it currently has, but it would be cool if they added a new tab called Lifetime and it shows your lifetime wins, your lifetime places in top 15 or 10, and then your lifetime places in top 25. That way you don't have to sit there and add everything up. It'll literally have it all added up for you. It's something very simple. And on top of that, it'll also show you your, your KD, which is your kill death ratio, your kills a match, and your win percentage for the game. Now the reason this would be really cool is because, man, I'm telling you, I already go on the website to try and find these things out, but it'd be a lot easier if I can just show you guys on my PlayStation 4 without having to go to the website, screenshot that, and show you guys my stats through there. And of course, it'd be really cool because I always want to know Ninja's stats and stuff like that. So if he ever goes to his scoreboard or anything like that, his profile to show us his kills, we can actually see how high his KD is. And that's all the concepts that I have for today's video. If you guys actually like hearing about different concepts within the game that could come in the future, give this video a thumbs up. I can do a part two later down the road. But guys, I want to give a sh huge shout out to Casual Pro. He's almost at 5,000 subscribers. I know you guys can get him there. Let's see if you can. His link will be in the description and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.